Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am playing with paint as I do in all my videos. Um, <laughs> if you learn something awesome, it is not supposed to be a tutorial, but it is supposed to be about loving living. Because I do and I'd love to invite you guys to enjoy with me. So... What am I doing? I've got this weird and wacky contraption. This is called either a pancake dispenser or a gravy jug. Um, see this little handle releases the trap door and lets the paint pour out or batter, whatever you use, used. And it's huge and it's flat bottomed. So I lose a lot of paint when I use it and I'm only doing a small eight by 10 canvas. So why would I lose all that paint? Well, partly because I want to use it up. I've got this peach colour that I bought um, back before we went into lockdown on a bit of a whim. And I was like, eh, you know what? <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. So I'm going to combine it with black and just do the two of them through this funnel, which I have blue tacked if you can see i've put a, a ring of blue tack around the hole and sat my funnel down into it it's got a little bit of blue tack here just to hold it steady and which it is quite steady so i should be able to fill this up and then release it with total ease crossing fingers uh, anyway let's give it a go so basically i have mixed my two paints similar strengths and weaknesses hopefully and I my target is just to try and get an even amount of paint so keep that line even I might actually get who knows that should be enough I would say and guess what it hasn't leaked miracles it's so pretty right so what I would like to do is actually get a side camera angle where you guys can see what's happening hopefully what can they see what can you see all right let's do it Now this paint has all only been mixed with Floetrol and water. Just all of it recently mixed actually. So what I'm seeing there is quite a bit of um, lacing. There's no silicon in it at all. So I'm just going to leave that to drain down. And we'll let that out in a minute. But let's have a have a close up of what we've got. So we've got lacing, we've got ribbons, and we've got a lot of paint, which is usually quite good. So I'm just gonna stretch this out. And let's see what we get. Hopefully we get something straight off the bat that I like. That means that I don't want to <laughs> scrape it. But before I do, because it's such fresh paint, I'm going to grab my torch and pop air bubbles. Now anything that comes up from this is not from silicon. Because there is no silicon. It's air bubbles. Why do we need to pop air bubbles? Because if there is an air bubble and the skin on the t the paint on the top of that air bubble dries and then collapses in, you'll end up with divots in your paint. Now, one of the important things about getting paint to flow is giving it a wet area to run across. Okay. So 
So I'm just going to grab some of this paint off the ground and smear it around. Give it something to flow across. I could do a corner catcher, but I actually want to get rid of some of that peach. <laughs> okay. And then bringing it back down to this corner. Again, give it something to run on. I like these two patches here, they are cool. Oops, that's a big hair. Alright. Well, you know what? I quite like that. What's the easiest way to do this? Bring it up to you, I think. And then I've got to have a spare hand, which I've only got two, to get it to focus. So I really like that patch and that patch. I also really like this ribbon. So, what don't I like about this piece? I don't like this giant great bit through here. I like it. I like it. I like it. I kind of like it. I definitely like it. I like it. Do not like it. So... What can we do? I'm going to take it so that the black comes out last. Now, if it comes out at all, here we go, try again. stretch that so it's given us a little bit more interest in that corner it's definitely interesting I must say, I am not a fan yet. So, let me zoom in a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing. Somebody heard me thinking, and you're saying, I knew she was going to do that. <laughs> this is something I've been doing on a few videos lately, but it's something actually I did really early on. In one of my very first videos. And just going to take a sharp point and start at the top and run through them, preferably with a straighter hand than that, but that didn't look, it's not too bad. Like that. 
and like that. And guess what? We got love hearts. Oh, I like that. That's much better. Now, I don't want to stretch that. But what I do want to do is create some sort of lacing, if I can. I want this sort of effect up here. Remember, we've got no silicon in this. This is 100% um, just the paints interaction interacting. Just had such a really harsh line across there in It's dirty in this corner. Dirty mucky pup. Ugh. need what does the painting desire anytime you go to the word I need really ask yourself truth do I need anything right now Oh, 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 I've got an idea. So I've got, this is actually from a toffee apple. <laughs> Been used a few times for other. There you go. A little signature. <laughs> Can you see? Alright guys. That was fun. It's used up some of the paint. And I think I might just sort of capture some of the bits and play with it in my material making stuff. So I'm going to say adieu to you and you and you. No, I'll be back once it's dry. So stay with me for three, two, one. Well, it's dry and it's definitely interesting, funky, fun. I like it in an odd way. <laughs> um, I think if I hadn't put the little love heart, chains in there I probably wouldn't be saying I like it I love it it's funky I'd be saying yeah as an overall piece I love it as a uh, without the intervention <laughs> 
not so much. And that's what art's about, guys. It's about taking what you have and making it something that you love. Um, and it's about having fun doing it. That is what it is for me anyway. So guys, I have had fun doing this. I discovered some fun stuff. I really do still like these like um, woven cocoon-like bits down here. They are funky. Um, and what else is possible? What can we create next? I'm looking forward to having a play with you, um, showing you something else that I create, which I haven't created yet. So I better get on with it. Otherwise, it won't be dry in time for the next video. All right, guys, have fun. I adore you. If you've enjoyed this content, please hit the like, subscribe, all those funky things. And if you'd like to financially support the channel, just let the ads at the beginning run for 30 seconds or jump onto PayPal and donate some money or um, even maybe become a subscriber on my Patreon and get to join me live on the videos and get the free um, digital prints and things like that. So up to you otherwise just keep watching have fun and be you change the world i adore you bye bye